Well, good morning. Welcome to the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area here in Pike County, Pennsylvania. We're standing here at the Mini Sink Overlook, hundreds of feet above the Delaware River at this beautiful location and watching the sunrise. We're here today to do a hike that I consider one of the best hikes in Eastern Pennsylvania and probably my favorite hike in the whole entire Delaware Water Gap, 70,000 acre area. I call it the RCL, the Raymond Skill Falls Cliff Trail Loop. So it's going to be a looping trail of about five to six miles. We're gonna make a circuit and uh, it ha has some great highlights such as the views of the river, some waterfalls, and uh, I'm excited to be out here. And uh, it's a cold morning, but it's gonna be a hot hike. So come along for an adventure. Let's go see what we can see. All right, guys, Gator out. Now, something that's interesting about the uh, the trail here is the cliff face here has a, a unique ecology. You have these grizzled junipers and uh, red uh, cedar trees and uh, there's even said to be some cactus that grows here which I'm looking for and uh, but yeah the, it's just very unique environment. At one point many years ago this uh, location was even used as the backdrop for several Hollywood movies. Uh, because of the expansive view. I mean, it looks like something out of a painting. So I had a couple uh, interesting uh, animal encounters uh, on my way up here. Uh, we are high above Route 209. It runs for many miles here between this cliff face and the Delaware River. But on my ride in this morning, it was still dark. I seen an animal shoot across the uh, road as I was coming in. And uh, I think it may have been a bobcat because it had the look of a house cat. I only seen it for a second and it shot across the road but it had a very sturdy, very squarish, boxy type of body. It was small, but uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out what that was. And then about 30 seconds later, a skunk ran across the road. I almost hit the skunk. So I think the speed limit on the road is 45. I was doing about 48 on cruise control and uh, I knocked it down to like 40. I was looking for deer, didn't see any deer. But did see a couple other critters. I always uh, see animals when I come up to this area. Lots of wildlife here in the region.
Now this overlook here is known as Tri-State Overlook. Uh, I don't think it's as nice as the first one, but uh, it's still a beautiful sight. There's a, a wooden fence up here a bit, indicating that you're at the you know official overlook. So there should be another overlook up ahead yet. But uh, yeah, it's just what a wonderful morning. The sky is turning blue and uh, it's lovely. We are continuing southbound along the cliff trail. We just left Tri-State Rock Overlook. Um, I should point out that there is a official blazed trail that's a bit inland from the cliff edge. And then you have this unofficial footpath. That's pretty much the trail you want to take and that everyone takes to uh, get the good views and follow along the edge. But we are continuing southbound, heading towards Raymond Skill Falls. Now here's a small example of the eastern prickly pear cactus that I was talking about. Uh, this is my third or fourth time on this trail. I finally found one. I know there's more. I've seen pictures. But how cool is it to think that we're in northern Pennsylvania and native cacti grow. We're on this very sunny, very rocky and dry ledge. And uh, the soil here is well drained and... This is kind of the kind of environment where they can thrive, so very cool. guys we're now dropping down into the Raymond Skill Creek uh, Valley as it is uh, the Raymond Skill like many creeks in the region starts in the Pocono Plateau and then drops off of this uh, escarpment here down into the Delaware River and in the process creates these uh, beautiful and uh, tremendous waterfalls Raymond Skill is said to be the tallest waterfall in Pennsylvania, almost just a couple feet short of Niagara Falls. So hopefully we should get a, it should be flowing well and it should be awesome. Alright, so we're now into the Raymond Skill Falls trail system. It's this small network of trails. You can see this uh, large deer fence behind me. What they're trying to do is protect some of the remaining hemlock trees and some of the uh, ground cover from being trampled because in the summertime, as you can imagine, this place is a madhouse. So when you're doing your naturing, adventuring, and discovering, you got to be strategic when you go to certain places to avoid the uh, crowds and uh, winter time always helps with that.
So here we are at the Raymond Skill Creek. We're actually below the waterfalls. Uh, here's a look at the creek. We've been following a little tributary, I think an unnamed tributary, with a couple nice little waterfalls of its own. But there's some huge trees back here. And I don't think too many people come down here. You do have to come down a bit of a way and you do have to ultimately go back up. But there's a nice little bench. And this is a beautiful, peaceful spot. Well, what can you say about that? Just a breathtaking spot. The tallest, probably the most powerful waterfall in the state of Pennsylvania. Just a wild and beautiful sight. And uh, we're now continuing to make our way up Raymond Skill Creek, where we should come across even more waterfalls and spectacular scenery. Thanks for joining me for another adventure. I do appreciate you. This is absolutely magnificent scenery here. Breathtaking, really. Uh, not many come back here. And uh, we're walking along this gorge underneath old growth trees along a wild Raymond Skill Creek, waterfall after waterfall. Whitewater rafters are have been known to run this section. Oh man, it's spectacular.
mean, you know, what's the, what is there left to say? This is, <laughs> I have no words, speechless. I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this video because I've probably taken about 200 videos now and I probably could have took 200 more. Every shot is just, uh, just amazing. Oh my God. Guys, we are now in this absolutely gorgeous pine forest high above the Raymond Skill. The mood has went from dramatic to uh, just peaceful. And uh, I mean, this is enchanting. Uh, <laughs> this is just, just uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't know what, I don't, I, I need a dictionary. I don't have words. I don't know what to say. I sway in time with the wind With open eyes and open arms I slip into the quicksand These trees back here, these trees are big. Some of these have to be old growth or near old growth. They're tall. Oh man, this trail is like an infusion of, of goodness for my spirit. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I doubt you are, I don't think it's possible. Oh man, I love to walk in a forest like this. I don't know what we would do in Pennsylvania without our hemlock trees. Oh God, it's so beautiful. Right, guys we're almost back to the car now we're parked next to a nice little pond i want to show you that before i sign off but uh we are on the buchanan trail and it, which is named after a several generations of family the buchanan family who once uh, owned this land from i think from like the 1800s up until maybe like 2000 or it wasn't that long ago and uh i just had an experience on the trail that i've never had before I can't even really talk about it because it's like x-rated um you know the expression get a room well 
there was a young couple about 10 feet off the trail and uh, they must have been feeling a certain way but I think they needed to get a uh, get a cave or find a tree further into the forest that's all I'll say about that <laughs> but uh <laughs> this was this was an amazing hike I'm actually filmed out I kind of stopped filming because I've just taken too many too many videos I'll never be able to edit this but uh, I'll see you up ahead at that pond for my sign off. Got a real sketchy old building here. Did you hear that? Banging. I don't know if there's someone in there or not. Could be homeless people, could be kids, who knows. It's right off the trail here. Definitely sounds like there's someone or something in there. Surprised the park service hasn't condemned this place. creepy I could explore that more but I'm not going to <laughs> I had enough wonderful nature and then there's like a, this, this old trailer home mobile home over here too so again I know at one point this was private property I know we're also close to uh, an active golf course uh, right over that way um, I'm not sure why the park service hasn't taken these buildings down uh, it's got to be a reason All right, my friends, that's going to do it here from the RCL Loop here in the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area. Uh, what an amazing hike. Uh, seeing more waterfalls than I could have believed. Uh, incredible views from the cliff trail. Uh, like I've said before, I'm doing my very best to bring you the coolest hikes, the neatest places in Pennsylvania, to film them in a, in a, in a loving and respectful way. And... Uh, what can I say? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It'll really help the channel. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about the video or this location, um, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I was just blown away by this epic adventure. This is an early candidate for hike of the year 2023. So yeah, that's it guys. Got a long ride home. It's a Sunday. I'm gonna go home and upload all the footy and uh, start putting this video together. It's gonna take a little while, but uh, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be a good one. Thanks again. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Gator out. I listen to the pulse of another heart. I sway in time with the wind. With open eyes and open arms I slip into the quicksand